Okay, in our previous uh, videos, we learned how to basically use Turtle Graphics with functions to make a handy dandy little function called Draw Shape that lets us draw basically any size of, of polygon and in a color that we choose. And it uses a nice, very short code and uses a couple variables. We pass the values onto the variables and they are used inside that function. Um, one thing I wanted to mention about this, this uh, code is it's fairly readable. Um, I understand it's going to draw a shape. Uh, the shape is going to have a certain number of sides. We're going to choose the color. Um, and down here it's going to have four sides. It's going to have three sides. So I know in my head these, you know, these is probably going to be a square. It's probably going to be a triangle. Um, but it's not 100% clear. It works though, which is good. Okay, so you can see how that functions. But what I want to do in, in this case is just a way of making our code a little bit more readable is I want to use something we call a constant in our program. So we're going to define constants. Okay, and we define constants, we use capital letters. This tells coders and, and other programmers that this is a constant. It's just a convention. Uh, Python doesn't say you have to do that. It's just a convention that programmers often follow. So basically what I want to do is I want to define the number of sides based on the shape. So square equals four. Okay, square has four sides. Triangle has three sides. Pentagon has five sides. A hexagon has six sides. The thing with constants, the reason they're called a constant is that we don't change the value of a constant ever. Okay? Once it is defined, it stays that way. We don't, I don't somewhere down here say hexagon equals 7. That's not going to happen. Okay? Plus it doesn't make sense. But what it does let me do is it lets, my, lets me make my code look a little bit easier to read. So I've got a 4 here. So I might not have, I might not have been sure what I was going to draw before, but now it's very, very clear. Okay, so pentagon hexagon. So now if I read my code, okay, so draw shape square blue. Now notice there are no quotes around these, okay, because this is not a string. This is a string. This is a number that's actually an integer. So square sides. So square is four. So I'm going to draw the shape four sides, color blue, sides is four, sides is four. So let's run it and see if it works the same. And voila, we have not only created a very clean and easy to read code, it's very easy to modify. Now if I wanted to add an extra shape, um, I'm not sure what seven is. We'll do eight because that's I know that one. Octagon equals eight. So then I could down here. I'm going to draw myself an octagon at the end. So, octagon and let's say orange. Okay. So we define octagon as having eight sides, and down here we've added it to our code. So let's run it. There we go, eight sides, fantastic. So not only do we have clean and easy to read code, we have code that is very easy to modify. We can add more constants as we need it. Um, and But what's nice about this is the code doesn't get changed here. Once we created this algorithm, this very simple uh, procedure, this very simple method of drawing a shape, we don't need to update that every time. Now imagine if we had to do if shape equals pentagon, blah, 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 blah. If shape equals hexagon, blah, 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 blah. If shape equals octagon. This function would get very, very long. But because our, you know, we applied a little bit of knowledge about uh, shapes and, and the relationship of the angles, um, we looked at the code, we, we simplified it, we condensed it, and we make our code much, much easier to use, to read, to understand, and to modify. That's it.